Hi, Mariana. How are you, first of all? Very, very good. Uh, really happy to be back here in Milano. Okay. I'm happy to be here in Italy. It's, uh... Yes, yes. I love Italy. Okay. We're here for the second season of this wonderful show. Yes. Can you tell us something about what we'll see in the new episodes? Yes. I think this uh, second season just uh, doubles the bets on everything that's happened before. Uh, that's what I really like. From a calcio standpoint, from a football standpoint, it just gets crazier. We, we start uh, introducing other means of football, uh, like street football, so that's really interesting. And then from a story standpoint, a lot of things that hadn't been explored in Gabo's life start being explored, like his family past and things of that sort. So I'm just really excited for the Italian kids to see it. Okay, can we speak just a little bit ab about your character, what you like about it and about his evolution in, the, in this season? Yeah, so one of the things I'm most proud of is that my character, although he's like the good guy, the h Disney hero, he's not an, an immaculate Disney hero. He uh, makes a lot of mistakes, he goes through a lot of growth and uh, he's a guy that with all the good things he has, he needs to learn how to manage them. Uh, so I'm really proud of how human he is. And that's something that for me was also interesting to explore as an actor. In the second season, it was more challenging, but more profound too, in a way. Yeah, I guess it's important to be human for your character because, you know, so many kids watch this show. And so I guess it's important for the public to see a character that it's not a hero, but it's something they can relate to. Do you agree with it? Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. And I would even add that Once, Undici Campioni as a whole, is a show that has a lot of human characters. That's why m many kids can relate all over the world and not just in South America. Because these guys are just human teenagers growing up, going through the hardships of life and the fun of li life. So it makes it better to connect. And how about your relationship with culture? I don't know, are, uh, are you having fun on set? Are you tired <laughs> sometimes? So it's keeping me in shape. It's keeping yeah, me in good cool. shape. <laughs> but no, yeah, I've trained culture for many years. So uh, I was just in another interview speaking of that, how special for me it was to not leave culture after training for so many years, for it to become my next step in acting which I would have never imagined that could happen. So my relationship will be one forever. And what do you think about all the positive factors of the soccer? Because it's a sport really discussed in the world, but it's, uh, it has so many uh, positive uh, elements, I guess. Yes, I, I think you're touching on the perfect theme because what Undici Campioni is about is making this sport bringing out the good and positive elements of it, not just the competitive elements, not just the money, uh, the stardom, uh, bringing like the, the, the teamwork, the camaraderie that these friends have, the conflicts of uh, playing, not playing, of being healthy to play. So it just touches on so many little good things that Calcio has, not at the highest level, but at a lower level. That's what most people can relate to, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your staying in Italy. <laughs> Thank you.